the pyramid of the robot. I'm sure you guys have heard of my encounter with a lost SpongeBob episode, that being the lost internship recreation of SpongeBob you're fired. Trust me that episode scared the living crap out of me, but oh boy this next lost episode you are about to hear is more messed up than the last. I was outside with my dad's metal detector trying to find something valuable. However when I hovered it next to the gazebo, the metal detector beeped like crazy. I quickly grabbed a shovel and dug out a cardboard box. I then took the box into my room and opened with... What was inside it? A Spongebob DVD. The cover consisted of Spongebob and Patrick in front of Spongebob's house looking at the viewers. It was titled, Lost Episode. Oh man, I hope this lost episode won't be scary like the last one. I told myself as I inserted the disc into the DVD player. I then went downstairs, made some popcorn, grabbed a soda, and went upstairs ready to watch this DVD. The DVD started with the Nickelodeon fish island from 2002. However it was so scary and demonic that I almost screamed. The fish was red instead of orange, its eye was bloodshot, the mouth was dark blood red, there were scars and scratches on the fish's fins which were dark blood red and had blood dripping down them, and when the fish got towards the screen, there was a loud sound of rusty metal scraping against metal. What the frick? I told myself in fear. Then the Paramount DVD logo played, however it was also scary and messed up. The text wasn't visible, and so were the stars forming the circle around the mountain and the disc. And the whole background and mountain were in a shade of dark red. Also, some text in the Paramount font, and in a shade of red and dark red said. We are warning you. Do not watch this DVD. You will regret it. I found that text to be extremely gruesome and scary. To be exact. It then took me to the menu. The menu was nice to look at. It consisted of Spongebob and Patrick playing with conch shells in a half yellow half pink background. The music that was playing in the background was the instrumental of the theme song. On the top left corner of the screen was the logo, and under the logo was text that said, Lost Episode. On the right of the screen there were four options. Play Episode, Visit Nickelodeon, Bonus Features, and Meet the Staff. I clicked on Play Episode, ready to watch this episode. However before the episode began there was a warning. Warning, this episode was made back in October of 2002 for release of the ring, and it also contains gruesome scenes, violence, mature language, and sudden sounds that may not be suitable for young audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Aw oh man. I said disappointed. Here I go again. The episode started with the regular intro. However when it got to the end of the intro, Spongebob didn't play his nose like a flute. Instead, he stared at the screen with a short but sinister smile. Then the title card came up. The title card was a red background which was blackened down a lot, and on the background was text that read out, Spongebob can't take it, in red with an outline of dark red. What can't he take anymore? I told myself. Also, the happy-go-lucky music played in the background. Then the credits played, and then the bubble transition played and it cut to Spongebob's house while the sun was rising. It then cut to the inside of Spongebob's bedroom as Spongebob and Gary were sleeping. It then cut to Spongebob's foghorn alarm clock as it went off. After his foghorn clock stopped, Spongebob jumped out of bed with a large... Hooray! He then ran to Gary and said... Today is my big play day with Patrick. We are gonna do so many fun things. Spongebob cheered. He then did his morning routine of brushing his teeth, getting dressed, eating kelpos, and then walking out his door on his way to Patrick's Rock. He hummed his theme song while walking for 4 seconds until he got to Patrick's Rock. He then knocked on the rock and said in a polite voice. Oh Patrick, are you home? After that the rock opened up to show Patrick hanging onto his rock and replying with. You bet you I am. Spongebob then says. Okay, let the play day begin. As they both cheered. The bubble transition then played again as it showed a montage of Spongebob and Patrick playing together. They ate Krabby Patties at the Krusty Krab, went to Goofy Goobers and ate ice cream, rode rides at Glove World, and finally went jellyfishing, but the scene when they went jellyfishing was messed up. The scene was normal for about 6 minutes, but then while Spongebob was jellyfishing, a big crash sound was heard off screen. What was that? Spongebob said in concern. Then all of a sudden, Patrick runs to Spongebob with a sad expression. He was also crying. 
Patrick, what's the matter? SpongeBob asked his best friend. My neck broke? Patrick said sobbing. Oh man, I am very sorry Patrick. Maybe be a little more careful next time you use a jelly fishing net. SpongeBob said to Patrick. Uh, SpongeBob, is it okay if I use your net? Patrick politely asked SpongeBob. Of course, buddy. SpongeBob said happily. Patrick's mood immediately brightened up as he began playing with SpongeBob's net. This went on for a strong five minutes. I was about to eject the disc, when suddenly the scene changed. SpongeBob walked up to Patrick who then stopped playing with the net and said, Um, Patrick, can I have my net back? In which Patrick replies, Can I just have five more minutes, please? SpongeBob then replies with, Okay, fine, Patrick. In which Patrick continues playing. It then cuts to a time card saying, 25 minutes later. And then the episode took a turn for the worse. SpongeBob was seen extremely annoyed. He then walks to Patrick and says, Patrick, it's been over 40 minutes. Give me my net back. In which Patrick replies with, No, this is my net. In fact, I'm gonna keep it. Then the episode went dark fast as SpongeBob yells at Patrick as his voice fades to a demonic effect. Patrick, I said give me the damn net! I was shocked at what he said. They never said damn in the show before. The camera then zooms into SpongeBob, and oh god he looked berserk. He was all moldy, his eyes were hollow black with red pupils, and there were drops of blood under his eyes. Patrick screamed, but it sounded like his voice actor Bill Fangerback had lost his crap. He then got worried and said, SpongeBob, what are you gonna do to me? SpongeBob then replies to Patrick in a demonic voice. Just some fun. He then pushes Patrick off the giant cliff, and Patrick begins screaming as he was falling to his demise. When Patrick hit the ground his spine broke. Patrick begins howling in pain as he tries to get up but he can't. SpongeBob then walks up to Patrick and says, Alright Patrick, time to say bye bye to life life. SpongeBob says as he begins to kill Patrick. First he saws off Patrick's legs with a bow saw and a handsaw, then he burns his arms off with a flamethrower and a lighter. While all of this was happening, Patrick was screaming like crazy and super loudly. SpongeBob then says to Patrick, still in a demonic voice. Alright Patrick, time to end the operation. SpongeBob says as he pulls out an axe. Patrick begins begging. No SpongeBob, don't do this, we're just friends. No, no. Patrick shouted. SpongeBob then with a swift slash, slashes off Patrick's head with the axe. The head then flew into the sky and then plopped down onto the ground. Well then, I guess that's over with. SpongeBob says as he walks off screen laughing maniacally. The screen cuts to black only to cut to the credits. However the credits song was distorted and reversed, and the background was darker and the text was blood red. Then the United Plankton Pictures logo played, however the little sea creatures were yellow, the background was red, and the text was pink. Then the Nickelodeon logo played and it was also different. The splat was in the shape of Spongebob, and under it was text that read. Patrick Estimorto. Why to Proximo? I translated it and it said. Patrick is dead. And you're next. After that the screen cut to black for 10 seconds, after 10 seconds my god this scared me for life. SpongeBob's face popped up on screen, his eyes were black with no pupils, and there was blood dripping down his eyes. Along with that SpongeBob's laugh was heard in the background, but it was slower, louder, distorted and had a demonic effect added to it. I screamed from the intensity of the jump scare. After the jump scare ended it took me back to the menu. I was extremely shocked at what I saw. I immediately showed my parents the footage and they were shocked. I managed to grab a few screenshots of the episode before my mom burned the DVD. After that I couldn't sleep for three weeks cause I kept having nightmares about Spongebob. The next day I decided to contact Nickelodeon about the episode, and they said. Dear Giovanni. Yes that's my name. We are very sorry for what you saw, but listen one time we had an employee who was secretly a psychopath. One midnight at around 12.50am, he snuck into our studio and made this episode and aired it. The next day we received emails and calls from angry parents saying their children were traumatized by the Spongebob episode. We then found out it was our employee who was named, Clay Brown. We then fired him from our staff. We apologize for your experience. 
Sincerely, the Nickelodeon staff. I replied with a thank you after that. That episode still traumatizes me to this day, and I can't stop thinking about it. Please if you ever find a DVD that has never been released nor found. Do. Not. Watch it.